He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail? Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. 
Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You getting that gun then? Come on. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. And yet that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery, be careful. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, where are you? Marston, you hear me? John! Over here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. 
Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. to the others. Get 
shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. some help we need some help here come on help him down you're alive you're alive come on here we go there we go uh, ah you uh, careful uh, it's his leg uh, oh, come on let's get you warm uh, thank you thank you both this is a new low even by your standards <laughs> thank you arthur thank you, you. Got any other lost maidens need saving <laughs> not today have you and dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Hi, Molly. Doesn't feel much warmer this morning. How are you doing? I love Dutch, but I can't take much more of this. We'll be okay. Just gotta try and stay warm. Morning. Survived another night. How are you feeling? I've been better. <laughs> we'll find a way off of here soon. All right, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? Fine. Good. All right, then. Sure she will, Mary Beth. Ladies. 
morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. Keep on. That's the spirit. Sure. Keep warm. Just a few more days, and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. Tilly? He Morning. Is so impoverished How are you holding up? About as good as can be expected. That's it. Try to stay positive. All right, then. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to not so fast, grave an image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing? He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity, yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number, and calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he hath strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that hath no might, he increaseth their strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's real pretty, Reverend, but what on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't, but it brings me comfort. Hello, ladies. Oh, hi, Arthur. How are you doing? I can't complain. That's the spirit. Sure. Hello, ladies. Hello. Arthur. How are you feeling? Not the best. Hello. Gonna be all right. Okay, Arthur. How are you doing? Not good. We'll find a way off of here soon. <laughs> Whatever. How are you feeling? Well, how the hell do you think I am? We'll be okay. Yes, well, all right. Reverend? Not much good this morning, eh? How are you holding up? The Lord is testing me. We'll find a way off of here soon. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Another freezing morning. How are you doing? I'm beginning to regret ever coming to this country. Gonna be all right. Yes, I suppose. 
Hey, Jack. Morning. How are you feeling? Bad. We'll be okay. Yeah, Uncle Arthur. Morning, dear. Hey. How are you doing? Been a fair sight better than this. We'll find a way off of here soon. Take care, then. Uncle. Well, we survived another night. How are you feeling? About as bad as I can remember. Gonna be all right. Yep. I ain't going nowhere. Hi, John. Morning, Arthur. How are you holding up? Not so good. We'll find a way off of here soon. All right. Abigail. Morning. How are you feeling? Stuck in a blizzard. My boy's starving. How do you think? Gonna be all right. Just get us off this damn mountain. There, Javier. Morning, Arthur. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, freezing to death. We'll find a way off of here soon. Okay, Arthur. Pinkertons, lots of them, and bounty hunters too, more than ever before, and all after us. We were set up in Blackwater, and none of them dumb enough to take that pass in winter or think us fool enough to do it neither. We got a few weeks. By the time they find out where we are, we'll be gone. Where to? I ain't got that yet. <laughs> but this ain't done. <laughs> Not no way. How are you feeling? Well, times have been better, that's for sure. We'll be okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, Jose. How are you holding up? I think you know the answer to that. We'll find a way off of here soon. Okay, out there. Molly. Hi. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, can't feel me feet, but I'm all right. That's it. Try to stay positive. Okay, Arthur. Hello, ladies. Hi there. Hi there. Hey there. We'll be okay. How are you holding up? I, I don't know. Gonna be all right. <laughs> I don't care. How are you doing? I could be better, but I'm fine. Good. <sighs> Stay How are you holding up? Not the best. We'll find a way off of here soon. Aha, uh -huh, Arthur. Morning. Hi. How are you feeling? Okay. That's the spirit. Okay. Morning. Hello. How are you holding up? I live, I suppose. Good. All right, Hi, then. Uncle. Hey. How are you feeling? Well, I'm about as well as a frozen old man can be. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah. Just want to get out of here. Morning. Hello. How are you doing? Not good. Gonna be all right. May the Lord keep you. Hey, Strauss. Ah, oh, hello. How are you holding up? I'd rather be elsewhere, but I, I'm alive. Good. 
Just get us out of this damn place. Hi, Abigail. Hi. How are you doing? About at my wit's end. I won't lie. We'll be okay. What a mess this all is. Marston. Hey. How are you holding up? Okay, I guess. That's it. Try to stay positive. Good enough. Show some faith. Hey, Dutch. Hey. How are you holding up? Okay. That's the spirit. All right, then. Good morning. Hi. How are you feeling? Cold, but I'll live. Good. Just gonna try and stay warm. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. What is it, Arthur? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Let's go, get a move on. What's wrong, why are we stopped?
Charles, I'm okay, apart from this hand. A stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Oh, uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just... A lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> Has deer been here? And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. And slowly. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus.
Wait, look. There they are. You ready with that bow? Aim for the... For head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh, watch it. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Uh, here goes. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Hmm. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. Not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. 
Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. now five six months something like that but you didn't expect this what any of this black water mess being up here ah uh, sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong nature of life i just thought you might have moved on by now you want me to move on no no not at all i just i know you could run it alone no problem I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. And you taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. To find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. I 
Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Hi there. How are you doing? Not too bad, considering. <laughs> <laughs> 